For me, what makes an equation really beautiful is that it should tell an unexpected story. My desert island equation is Riemann's formula for the primes. Now, prime number, they're probably the most important numbers in the whole of mathematics. From primes, you get numbers. From numbers, you get mathematics. From mathematics, you get the whole of science. So, a number is prime um, if you can't divide it. So, 7, 17, they're prime numbers. But 15, you can write as 3 times 5. And this formula turns the primes, these indivisible numbers, into something completely different. It's, it's a wonderful story. Yeah? On the one side, you've got these prime numbers, these indivisible numbers, and then Riemann takes you on this journey. It's a kind of travelogue, taking you to somewhere completely unexpected, these things which we now call the Riemann zeros. These zeros have a kind of hidden music inside them. Each of these zeros actually gives rise to a note, and it's the combination of these notes together which tell us how the primes on the other side of the equation are distributed across all numbers. And for me, this equation is a little bit like um, Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Suddenly, the world has completely changed into something else. And for me, that's the magic of a good equation. An equation should tell a story, and this is still an unfinished story. We really don't understand these. And at its heart, this is our greatest unsolved problem. It's called the Riemann hypothesis. So why should anyone care about this equation for prime numbers? Well, actually, these prime numbers are probably the most important numbers for internet security. Because if you've ever sent your credit card across the internet and you wanted to keep it secure, then you've been using prime numbers. So anyone who truly understands Riemann's formula for the primes won't only be solving the enigma of prime numbers, but you might be able to unlock every single credit card that's going across the internet.